like we're all linked up around here. Let's go inside. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. The history of the Link Hotel and Casino is a long and sordid one. The property has been through half a dozen names and owners, and is no stranger to controversy either. But despite that, it's touted as being a highly modern, budget-friendly hotel option. Let's find out why. Uh, Red Spinners and Sharks, here we are inside the thankfully airing conditioned Link Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. Going to be checking out the casino floor as well as part of the sports book and trying to enjoy ourselves a little bit here. So, something you'll notice is that the casino floor is deceptively small. Uh, it's actually only a 33,000 square foot casino. But it's packed to the brim with games. We're talking 890 casino machines, a few table games, and of course, their famous sport and race book in the way back. Oh, that's rather unfortunate. Looks like the book is closed, so if you're looking for some food, you might want to have to hit up Guy Fieri. What a shame. And this is also going to lead us straight to the Link Promenade here, the uh, Link Shop. So, in fact, the Link was renamed the Link primarily due to the fact that the once the property was taken over, it was added as part of a $223 million renovation. So, pretty neat little bit there. That's why they renamed it. But yes, good William Hill sports book. If you want to go ahead and place some bets, you can start right here. And mostly leaving the casino space, we're going to go ahead and check out a few of the restaurants, including Hash House at GoGo, -Go, one of the most popular restaurants on the Strip. Last time that I came down here, it was roughly a three hour wait to get through. Now there's just a lot more casino here for a building this size. It's actually very impressive. Link is a drastically underrated property. It's clean, it's modern, and it's got a lot of good food over here. And of course we have Hash House to go-go. Signature restaurant, you know, it was three hours for brunch last time that we came through. So it was a tough time. But you also have the cashier's cage over here. And you can get to the pool this way as well. And you even have the option to reprint your seizures card, especially if you've lost it. Unfortunately, a lot of the property was closed due to social distancing, including the Daiquiri Bar, affectionately named the Purple Zebra, or Purple Zebra, I suppose. I don't understand what to that. And then you have the hotel districts on this side here. So this is where you're going to go ahead and get upstairs to the 2200 hotel rooms and suites that the property offers.
Okay, but turning around from where you get the hotel elevators at, as well as where the monorail leads to, I'll go ahead and turn back around and check out the check-in area. Also notice that you're directly connected to Caesars, the Caesars Forum there. And then you also have other options like the monorail, self-parking and all that. But if you want to go to Guy Fieri's or the Link Promenade, you want to go back this way. River dragons. I like this machine. And then here we are at hotel registration. Self check in and self check out. And now we're finally hitting the tail end of the casino where it takes us right back out to Las Vegas Boulevard. <laughs> and a few more grumpy guests that are unfortunately unable to get a lot of their snacks and drinks because the whole space is closed. And then, yeah, that accounts for the vast majority of the casino, but let's go back out to the promenade and add that to the video. And ironically, where we entered is also where we'll exit so let's go ahead and take a look at the Link Promenade as a whole as we go back out the main entrance. Pardon me, sir. And then here we are, Link Promenade. So this is going to feature all the indoor-outdoor restaurants on the promenade. And of course the signature attraction, the high roller in the background. And I'm sure as you guys know, we have spent our fair amount of time on the high roller. Unfortunately, you can't get your fly link tickets right now. It opens up tomorrow, which is a Thursday. Unfortunately, I'll be taken to the skies in a different way tomorrow, and we'll have a chance to ride it this time. What? I still refuse to acknowledge that someone put $223 million into a renovation for this to make all this stuff match, but you know what? It works. Also, can't forget about Gordon Ramsay. He had to stick his name out here to get one of his six Vegas restaurants going. This also features an entrance to the Flamingo Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. Maybe we'll do a tour of that next time.
Ah, uh, yeah, here we are. Here is another one of the signature hangouts, the Las Vegas In-N-Out Burger. You know, we got one in Denver finally, and I mean, I think it's fine there. I think I prefer the Vegas version, if we're being perfectly honest about it. So, there's that option. <laughs> but, always look forward to having some In-N-Out Burger while I'm here in uh, Las Vegas. I also have Jaw Burritos, which are sushi burritos. Which you figure with my love of Mexican cuisine, as well as my love of Japanese cuisine, I'd be all over. But I gotta tell you, I've never had a sushi burrito that I've actually liked. They just seem like they're overstuffed, just doesn't taste right. Um, you know, they just, I don't know, I've never found a good sushi burrito in my experience. But if you do like sushi burritos, I do hear good things about uh, Jaw Sushi. But, you know, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. You can also check out some of the virtual reality rides. A lot of the link uh, links directly into the promenade, no pun intended, but pun intended. So a lot of the stuff on the back end that you're attached to is actually part of the promenade. So that's kind of interesting. And we are almost to the high roller here, spinach and sharks. Alright guys, here it is, all 550 feet of observation wheel. This is the Link High Roller, right next to the Fly Link. Fun fact, if you do have a Caesars Diamond membership, you can get monthly free tickets, uh, anytime tickets, to the High Roller. And they are allowing you to bring on some alcohol there. Just FYI, um, it doesn't look like the pods, the happy hour pods are open still. So that's a bit of an issue, but yeah, there you go. And that, my spinners and sharks, is the Link Hotel and Casino as well as the Promenade. I hope you enjoyed. All right, spinners and sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. When do you plan on visiting the Link next, now that the High Roller's back in action and all? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Till next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys.